And now for the Monero development segment. All right. Hey. Hey, what's up? C comrade, you there? Yeah. Welcome. Uh, we haven't talked in a long, long time. Yes, it's been a while. Th thanks for, uh, you know, taking this on. I, I offered you the opportunity and you jumped at it. Uh, well, go ahead. B better first than, than second. So, uh, Monero Vegas, uh, you've sent me a link about a Monero casino. Mm hmm. And first of all, I think the imagination of it is really good. We haven't seen any casinos for Monero yet, but this might be the first one to make a launch for good. Uh, as we see, they give a good description of their fairness. And we also see that uh, their house edge is really good compared to other uh, uh, fiat casinos. Like f fiat, it's like 10%, and this is two. So fairness, uh, first of all, they, the server generates 250 bits uh, seed for the user for the game. And uh, when the user is uh, on the deposit screen, uh, it shows uh, an SHA 256 hash of that. Uh, so the user doesn't know the real seed of it. Okay. Uh, and the TXID, the uh, 32 by TXID is de determined by the user transaction, uh, which we see when we initiate a, a transaction. For example, you, you choose which one do we need to test it. Yeah, what are the different... Uh, can Do you explain the game a little bit? So... so uh, by, by the way, we should say, so uh, I, don't, I don't know, Comrade, if you're familiar. First of all, Com Comrade is, is is a super young guy, extremely talented. We've had him on here before. He worked on, what was the the uh, thing that you had originally worked on? We uh, brought you the Monero sub, subwatt, uh, which yep. got paused for a bit because uh, neither me or uh, Luke had a job. So he's yes. been searching for that. Yeah, so he uh, we brought Comrade on, and he, he talked about that. And then we we met Comrade at MoneroCon in Prague because we uh, I think I think we're the ones that inspired you to go, right? I think it was. Yeah, well, you basically invited me for free, so thank you again. Yeah. Uh, so that was amazing. We met him in person, and uh, Digun is no longer doing doing these dev reports. So I reached out to Comrade, and he jumped on it. But what I wanted to bring up was this isn't an entirely new concept. I don't know, uh, comrade, if you saw uh, or if you were aware. I like I said, you're you're a pretty young guy. So when Plinko was around, I mean, you were probably oh M Minko, yes, Minko. You're probably only like twelve years old. Uh, but are you familiar with Minko? Mm, no, I've I've searched up. Okay, so Minko Minko was the first version of this. Um, uh, that, that was done by. Binary fate, and yep. it, it did have some good traction. I they don't all... entirely remember why he ended up closing it down. I, I don't know if it was, I don't know, just didn't want to deal with potential regulatory issues or, uh, you know, just had a few unlike lucky streaks where he, they were effectively losing more money than, than gaining. Uh, but the, it has been attempted in the past, so it's interesting to see it back in action. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and actually explain yep. the game. Of course. So he, uh, the creator, also mentions that uh, they are inspired by Minko, but not related. So we should get, uh, we should keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, the game has sixteen uh, levels, sixteen le levels of dots, and uh, each dot has a fifty percent of going uh, left or right. We see that here. Uh, but there is the house edge, which is two percent which you see right here at the play. So for example, if we choose the last line, mm -hmm. we, we only get our money back uh, at the f uh, third, third dot. So it, it has to go either left or right, then left or right, then left or right. And here is uh, if it only goes right for a bit, then left for a bit, is that if we get our money back, and uh, if it goes in the middle, 
which it has the most percentage of, because it's two percent usage, then we lose money. And I think we also also could say that uh, we do not promote gambling in any any form. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is true. This is for demonstration purposes only. Yes, and uh, no, uh, also they mentioned that uh, it's legal for them to operate, but uh, people playing the games should check out their laws. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not that we're against gambling. It's if you want to gamble, just make sure you know you're yes, of course. you're in a regime where it's it's legal to do so, or if it's not legal to do so, you could get away with it without getting in trouble. Yes. Uh, uh, and also, their TOS mentions that. Uh, you reached reach the age of majority uh, for any people around my age. I myself do not promote gambling in any way, and this is just for a test. Yes, just to uh, just to be <laughs> just. To... <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't don't worry. You're you're, out, you're outside of the U.S. We got we got a little we got a little wiggle room there as well. But yes, this the is just won't be come knocking at your doors. We yes. are. <laughs> Of course. This is just a test. We are displaying the, the system here. We're going to test it out. We should say, too, that while it is provably fair in terms of what they've laid out, it actually is an open source, right? So nobody's seen the code. Yes. So there, there is trust involved right now. Of course. Uh, I believe Minko was actually completely open source, I believe, and you were able to look at everything. Uh, these guys, I think they, they've even said they're going to keep it closed source, right? Uh, yes, Ooh. I think uh, FAQ is, is mentioning that. Like they're going to post uh, the code, but... Um, no, I can't find it. I think I've seen it somewhere. Yes, I, I, uh, I saw it in, in the Reddit. Yeah, Reddit. yeah, of course, yes. Uh, also, I haven't tested the site yet, so this will be a really good indication of uh, what it looks like for a... Uh, a user to just join and uh, test the site if there's any complications or not. Sweet. Let's do it. So, uh, Doug, you choose which which one should you try, the blue, the green, or the yellow line? Uh, let's let's go with the blue. Sure. So here we can set, up, set our payout address, uh, which I will, I will get from my Monero wallet. Uh, Cool. Here now, uh, you, guys, you guys could see how this could potentially become a quite addictive game. <laughs> like, yes. Miko, I, Miko, I think, uh, was doing very well. It was getting a lot of usage. Uh, it was also <laughs> beautifully designed, Miko. It was uh, very elegantly designed. Uh, this, this is this is nice, a little simpler. Okay, so we insert our payout address here, and uh, we press continue. Then we get a screen showing. So. Uh, we can only send at least uh, 0 0.01 XMR and uh, no, sorry, yes, and okay. 0 0.4 XMR maximum because uh, I think it's because their coverage. Yes, they don't want to go broke. Yes, so <laughs> we get an address which we can send the Monero to, or if we use front for uh, the Monero wallet, we can use the QR codes as well. So I think I'm going to send 0 0.02 XMR and let's do point 0.1. Let's let's let's, point let's, one. Make, it sure. let's make it count. Sure. Yes, sure. Uh, and I think a normal fee will be good. Of course, confirm. Even though this is for testing purposes only, we yes. might, might as well make it of count. Course. <laughs> okay, so we we get the transaction ID and we are wait, waiting for a payment to arrive at their side. And it's oh, arrived. Yes. Oh, this is a... <laughs> the sounds of it. I, I don't know if, uh, it, if you can hear it. Oh, yeah, I hear it. I love it. Well, we all right, won, so we got we, right. We won a thousand thousands of an XMR. Nice. All right, <laughs> let's let it ride. Let's let it ride. Do it again. <laughs> so let's see if uh, I got it back in my wallet, and I did. So it's 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 in instantaneous. Oh, that's amazing! It's already yes. the transaction already was sent. Oh wow, yes. that's really really cool. And just so kind of explain again. So how it 
it, in choosing whether it's going left or right, it's that is basically it's getting that 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 decision from somehow from the Monero blockchain is affecting it, right? Uh, yes. So, uh, where is it mentioned? One second. So the ball hits uh, 16 times uh, every two bytes. The path uh, of a single ball. Uh, 30 balls. Yes. So the game has one ball uh, because uh, of I think calculation issues. Maybe they will uh, implement more balls soon because this is just a beta. Okay, but if you go uh, back, to the provably fair part. Um, yes, it, it's I'm trying, to, trying to understand that a little bit more. Where uh, so. Basically, uh, the some random. Yeah, so it has a 50 uh, person probability, and the fairness uh, of it is that uh, both the game has a seed and the user, user has a TX ID, uh, mm -hmm. and they are combined. So it uh, determines it by some mathematics, which I think is wrote down. Done here in this okay line. So yes, the ball hits the back sixteen times. So every two bytes uh, determines the path of, of a single ball. So uh, every, every sixteen bits uh, is determined uh, one dot. So right. it's. I guess it's, I guess I'm just not I'm not totally understanding how the, it's um, my understanding. It's the Min, the Monero blockchain is affecting the outcome it's, is is providing uh, yes TXID, so right? yes the txid and the uh, combines to 56 bits of it all right and that's what's okay so, so it's, it's so creative. Yes, i wonder i wonder what other implementations of this could be i mean I, the plinko is very cool what else can you do i guess you could do kind of like dice games right i mean what's are you guys familiar with Satoshi Dice? Uh, not really. Okay, that was like that was like the first, really the, the first use case of Bitcoin. I think, I think even even before it was on uh, being used on on dark markets. I could be wrong about that, but it, it was it was super early Satoshi Dice, and it was it was a gambling thing where you could gamble gamble your bitcoin and i don't know if it was provably fair though and everything and if it was based off the blockchain mm -hmm. itself but I'm, I'm curious i guess there's other implementations you can do right it doesn't just have to be yes. plink right you could do like dice games and things like that of course uh in my opinion we could test it two more times so we, we see the fairness of it if it's really fair if it's really a fair game let's do it so i think it's only fair if we go again with blue and uh, I will insert another. Do we have any idea who's behind this? Are they uh, known? Uh, there's a Reddit figure. I think they haven't mentioned any IRL names. Okay. Would be cool to get somebody. To yes, off. in my opinion, too. Another 0 0.01 XMR with normal fee. Oh, the problem is that uh, you know it's they sent the the money already, but uh, unlock balance is is lower than that, so we cannot test it right now. Oh, yeah, oh how yeah, much yes. are you trying to do? Point one. Uh, yes, uh, zero oh, point one. My, uh, I mean z zero dot zero one. Oh, uh, point oh one. Gotcha. Here, you want me to here? I'll do it real quick. Let me open my cake. Sure. I'll scan Thank the you. QR code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it's uh. Anybody else wants to wants to send additional? <laughs> Actually, let me open up my computer. He'll be faster. Oh yeah, that's already ready to go. Play on orange and go for the big money. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah. So go orange. Uh, I, I uh, we want to test its uh, fairness, so we'd like to uh, see three times the same color. Oh, okay. 
I mean, does that would that really test the fairness? I mean, kind of, because then we know if like the percentages. So if if it's three times uh, maybe win or two times lose one one times win, mm. I, I mean once win, then we can see uh, if it's really a two percent. Uh, right, right, right. I mean, I guess we'd have to do that many, many times to really. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we actually built a life-size version of this and had it at DEF CON. So we, we got it back again. Uh, I mean... Nice. Yeah, well, we haven't in, lost in this position. <laughs> yes, so in, in this position, I, I think the only thing that... Uh, this two could lose is the transaction fee. Okay. But oh, of oh, yeah. course, if if it would have hit the zero point sixty five, then then we would have lost. Let, let's go. Let's go slightly bigger and go on orange. Let's let's have some fun here. Of course. Like, send, send a larger transaction. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do it again. Hold on. Tux, I'll I'll pay you back. Send like uh, how much? Send like five dollars worth. Okay. Whatever. Point. Grab that QR code. Uh, their maximum is zero point zero two XMR. Keep that in mind. Oh, zero point. Oh, it changed. Oh, because you changed. Oh, yeah, 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 because uh, we changed the. Uh, I got you. That makes sense. Oh, wait, what happened? Because oh, we're doing a different. So, yes. So, uh, so uh, different colors mean y you can uh, win bigger. So yeah. it, it changes the maximum amount, amount, so they they don't go broke if we uh, or someone wins. Got it. Got it. That is about three bucks. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the full max. All right, it's going. <laughs> Point out to Monero. Oh, yeah. I'm making mad money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope we don't uh, bankrupt them live on air here. <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, con of this that I see is that uh, it doesn't have to be a confirmed uh, payment. So yeah, someone. It has to be sent. So theoretically, <laughs> yes, theoretically, someone could exploit the system uh, because it doesn't have to be uh, a confirmed amount. Mm. Can I do like a, well. a double spend? Try, yes. try, trying to I hack it? Yeah. It <laughs> if, if it can be, I'm sure people will try, right? So it'll be interesting. Here we go, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, so here we see that we oh, lost, we lost uh, the half. So it's not, it's not an only win platform. That, that's why uh, I said not to really gamble. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the ultimate lesson, guys. That's the ultimate lesson. Wow, all right. Lost a uh, fifty on that one. Well worth it, though. Well worth the entertainment of watching that ball bounce back and forth. Yeah, we built a physical version of this for DEF CON when yes. Minko was popular. Oh, that's cool. Back, back in the day. <laughs> All right. This is well, this is great. Great job, comrade. Thank you for uh, jumping in and, and well, taking the dev report. I hope for the next time I can... I, I will have to, time to make a normal presentation. No, this is... You oh, did a this fantastic is, this is cool. job. Yeah, yeah. On the <laughs> spot. On get the to spot. play some, yes. do some Monero gambling on the stream. Oh yeah, Dude, you, you nailed it, <laughs> and, I, and I gave you very short notice. So greatly appreciate it, man.